Hi there, I'm Lana Monday Emmett, and today I'm with Sonny Verma. How are you, Sonny? I'm great. How are you? I am very good. I'm excited to have you on today. For those of you who do not know Sonny, Sonny is founder of Tutor Bright, the world's largest in home tutoring company, employs close to 20,000 or more people. Um, Sonny has lots of accolades. He is a public speaker. He is a motivator. He is full of energy, as you guys will see today as he talks a little bit. Um, he has been featured in the New York Times, in the Reader's Digest, in the Huffington Post. Good grief. Your bio is amazing, Sonny. <laughs> you're, you're flattering me too much here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sonny has a very amazing story. And I'm wondering if you can give us just a little bit of background about your story and how you came up with the idea for Tutor Bright and how you got started. And there is a method to our madness because let me back up and say this. Sonny is the featured speaker for the annual Napoleon Hill Day happening next Monday at Wise Virginia. UVA Wise, the University of Virginia's College at Wise. So we yeah. have to talk a little bit with Sonny and find out what makes him tick. So tell us a little bit about your story. How did you get started? Uh, so it's been a, well over 10 years ago. Um, I was volunteering tutoring and I had no idea it was going to change my life. I was prior to this a management consultant and to say I dislike my job would have been an understatement. I didn't find any passion. I didn't have any purpose in it. So volunteering tutoring became sort of my outlet in giving back to the community. Uh, my first student was actually one of my friend's younger sisters who's failing grade 12 English. And grade 12 English is a prerequisite um, for every single degree that you're ever going to want to go to college for, uh, irrespective of what the speciality may be. So it's absolutely pertinent that you do well at it. Uh, and because she wasn't doing so well, she was a black sheep of her family. Nothing seemed to be working. She had a revolving door of tutors. So they asked me to step in and give her a helping hand. And mind you, I was never really that good with English. So they just <laughs> said, you have a little bit of spunk. She has a little bit of spunk. Perhaps you guys can get together and make some magic happen. So I decided to meet with her. And upon my first meeting, uh, I realized that she was extremely capable. She had not given herself the credit that credit was due. Uh, she kept claiming that she wasn't good or good enough and that she was going nowhere. She accepted the label of being the outcast. Uh -huh. And although it served her well at that time, I asked her, I said, well, what is this gonna be for your future? Uh, and then through some positive reinforcement, some re really in-depth conversations about how you use your mind and how to you use your heart in your work versus just how do you do changed everything i started to see her apply herself in different ways to show her that she is capable to work on her self-esteem to work on her self-worth and to work on her self-confidence became our three primary objectives and within about a month her grades started to skyrocket and i felt like i was actually doing something beautiful in this world so I decided to quit my job and pursue this as a full-time profession. Oh, wow. uh, and I never looked back since. And I never felt, like I, every day I wake up and I feel so blessed in my heart that my contribution to the world is to raise people's self-esteem and self-worth and use academics as a vehicle to rediscover their greatness. Oh, that's wonderful. And I feel your warmth when you talk about <laughs> it. That's wonderful. That means it's like very self-fulfilling for you too. It's, yeah, I, I would never ever replace what I do for anything. It is, it is, it is my, I, my dream has become my destiny. Definitely your passion. Definitely. Yeah. So you were going to be the featured speaker at Napoleon Hill Day next Monday. Yeah. And I'm not going to ask you to spill all the nuggets and things you're going to talk about, but can you maybe give us a little preview of something that you're going to talk about? Yeah, absolutely. I think the only limit to your imagination is your own imagination. I think we need to start to rediscover our dreams. I think we need to fall back in love with, with our dreams and stop listening to the chatter that exists in this world. And I'll leave you with something. I think, you know, many times when we're pursuing our hopes, our dreams, ambitions, we've been told that it's nearly impossible. Next time somebody tells you something is nearly impossible, something that you really want is nearly impossible, you tell them you're gonna focus on the nearly and they can focus on the impossible because in the sliver of nearly is where the magic of life actually happens. Very well said, very well said. I love that. Well, everyone, if you want to hear Sonny speak, again, he is going to be the featured speaker at the Napoleon Hill Day, the annual celebration we do every year. It's at the University of Virginia's College at Wise, October 28th in the David J. Pryor Convocation Center. Starts at 11 a.m., so you might want to get there just a little bit early to find a seat. 
Um, and for those of you that cannot make it to the live, the talk, we're actually going to have it available on Facebook and YouTube later on so you can catch the replay. So, Sonny, we're looking so forward to seeing you. Excited. I feel I your energy. Be. I hope you're bringing that energy with you, I know. <laughs> Absolutely. Great. Well, thanks for joining us, and we will see you a week from today. Thank you.